warm welcome to Joba Today. I'm Zizi Poindebu. If you're one of those Joburgers who never has a dull weekend, this is a unique perspective on the party scene. One of the most interesting things about Johannesburg is its party scene. And through his photography exhibition, Musa Ngumalo captured it all. This work is, 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 a, is a reflection of myself and uh, other young people who uh, inhabit Johannesburg. You know, so um, that's why I'm saying it wasn't just like an assignment that, you know, I prepared for and, and I was like, okay, so this is what I'm going to go and document, you know, so it's actually like documenting the everyday, you know, uh, being at the party and making photographs. The title comes after, you know, the work, you know, so it speaks to this idea that uh, I think, you know, uh, particularly as the youth, you know, uh, we are all like in search of something which um, one cannot really uh, um, put into, I cannot pin it down, you know, it's not just love or it's not just money, you know, it's a different mixture of things, you know, that I'm still yet to, to figure out. Some people don't go out to a party to party, you know. Uh, some go, with, uh, some other go there to network. Others go there because they really don't have a place to stay. Uh, uh, they don't have homes in Johannesburg, so uh, they can, they push time by being at parties. You know, uh, some like myself, you know, they go there to work. You know, uh, um, you know. So there's I, I can't uh, pin it down to one reason. There's lots of reasons why people party. This project has layers, you know, I think it, it speaks about um, where we are, you know, uh, especially as black youth, you know, a commentary to social and political issues, you know, but um, I, it just happens that like I use a language that at this point, you know, um, young people uh, get to understand. So we've seen the melting pot that is urban youth culture in Johannesburg through this exhibition right here at the Guta Institute. And maybe you will start looking at the party scene from a different perspective. I'm Butumela Ratokwena for Joburg Today. How's it? My name is Matt Moore and you're watching <laughs> Joburg Today. Join the conversation on our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. Follow us on Twitter, at joburgtoday. And if you're one of those people on the move, then pockettv.mobi. That's pocket with an I. I go to the movies pretty often, but the experience to be had at the Bioscope takes it to another level. We are here at the Bioscope in Maboneng Precinct, the only independent cinema in the whole of Johannesburg. And we're joining them for their Nuru Box Night. Let's go check it out. The Bioscope is Johannesburg's only truly independent cinema. Uh, we're one indoor cinema of 62 seats and we screen every night of the week um, tickets, popcorn, the whole deal. We started it, uh, myself and my business partner Daryl Els, um, being two film students. Uh, Daryl wrote uh, his thesis on whether or not there was space for an independent cinema in Johannesburg. Me being his friend, thought that was interesting and um, together we, we, we started. We started as a screening project and then by 2010 we had the opportunity to find the actual space and actually build a permanent cinema which was a very exciting time. We've found that we're able to give local content a real place to exist. We found that interesting documentaries that really appeal to sort of a niche uh, audience could really find a successful home at the Bioscope. Stuff that evokes debate um, about around issues that people care about. And then we also found a place for fun stuff and the flexibility to go back uh, to play cult uh, content. The Bioscope's actually got Noodle Box Cinema showing tonight. Um, I'm a big fan. I love cheesy B-grade martial arts movies and uh, they, they come thick and fast at, at the Bioscope, so that's why we're here this evening. Another thing that makes the Bioscope special is what we call signature events, the Bioscope signature events. Our most famous and most long-running signature event is something called Noodle Box Cinema. We go to Cyril Dean to get the noodles. We're very proud of the, the guys who, who make them. We're at the moment going back to kind of very cheesy um, uh, 80s, Kung Fu movies. 
Imagine watching kung fu movies and eating noodles at the same time. So if you're hungry for a little bit of fun and a change of scenery, then you know exactly where to go. I'm with Malara Tokwena for Joburg Today. We're from Spot 3 and you're watching Joburg Today. The Art of the Brick exhibition is still on, displaying innovative art that you and the family will enjoy. It is said that art nurtures the brain, whether made from clay, paint, wood, or a modern day toy. Nathan Saweya aims to motivate children of Johannesburg to learn more about art history through Lego. The Art of the Brick is a, it's an international global uh, traveling exhibition that's been traveling uh, sort of the globe for the last three, four years. It's voted by CNN as one of the top 10 exhibitions to go and see worldwide. We launched it in Cape Town on the, on the 12th of December and we had it there for, for sort of three months over the, over the summer period. We had about 65,000 people that came through there um, over the three months, so it was very, very popular. Um, and we've now brought it to Johannesburg, which will be here at the zone in Rosebank till the, the 2nd of August. So, so what he's done is he's taken inspiration from, from artists all over the world, you know. Um, world recognized artists and he's recreated their work you know um, sculptures he's recreated cre recreated their work you know artists painted artists he's recreated their work and he's done it out of lego the artist nathan sawaya was an ex-attorney uh, that operated out of the usa he's a, a sculptor he decided to start sculpturing in lego and uh, he's made some of the most iconic statues that you recognize um, and, and iconic paintings, sort of like the Mona Lisa, and he's recreated them out of Lego. You know, we've got a, a almost life-size T-Rex with, with 38,000 Lego blocks that's been recreated. Uh, we've, we've got statues that, um, that, are, that are recognizable from around the world, life-size. Um, so it's just really been amazing to see what this guy has created out of a simple Le Lego block. Johannesburg's been phenomenal. Um, we've had an average of over a thousand people per day coming through here. Um, if you go and check our Facebook site out, Art of the Brick SA, um, you'll be able to see all the comments from people that have been here. We've got a massive activations area, which is like a Lego play pits right at the end of the exhibition. So the kids get stuck in, the parents get stuck in, everybody recreates what they've seen. So it's, it's really been an interactive, awe-inspiring exhibition thus far. So it's been very successful. Inspired by his everyday life in a city, Sawaya uses Lego in his art because it's never been done before, it is easily accessible, and it brings out the child in all of us. I'm with Melara Tokwena for Joburg Today. We are Lennon I, and you're watching Joburg Today! For more on the city, check out our playlist as well as business destination Joburg. That's it from me, Zizi Paul. I leave you with just ginger bright lights. Back in ETV. You can only find the great white light when you're not looking. You should only look when you're willing to see What's surrounding you, please Come on Don't look away It'll all come back to haunt you You owe it to yourself You owe it to Change, my friend, when you see through who you are, you can have it all, you can become whole again, you know that's what you need, you know that's what you want. Your heart 
come on, don't look away. It'll all come back to haunt you. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to believe in you. Change, my friend. If you see through, who you are. You can have it all. You can become whole again. You know that's what you need. You know that's what you want. You know that's what you are. Take control again when you see through who you are.